Hello, hello, my dear ones. This is part two to 2019 Angel Card Reading with Grace for year 2019. And please listen to the part one, the beginning, when I'm explaining what uh, the changes for doing in a new way. It's not just the new year, it's the new me too, because uh, 2019 is my personal year number one. So now we are, I'm doing readings for the, my subscribers. If you want to find the explanation, please go back to that part one. But we're going to Scorpio. Okay, my dear Scorpio subscribers, that's the reading for you for 2019. And let's see what is it. Okay, so somebody, I always say this is Sagittarius, but not necessarily, it can be any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, also Venus. But not only that, this can be any situation, and this is like, boom, just shows up from nowhere, okay? Either it's a challenge, and you got to deal right away. Now it's 2019 start and you got to deal with it. Or very passionate relationship, which that would be great. Congratulations. So something that is quick, sudden, and boy, you're, you're, you're really um, spinning your wheels here. When it comes to relationships calling your soulmate so if you are available single do you know who you are do you know what you want do you know who you desire and remember the law of attraction the big secret that whatever you calling for that's what you're gonna uh, get it because you're calling on your own frequency and that's exactly what's gonna come to you so be careful what you're attracting. Make sure you're the best version of yourself and you're attracting the best version of partner. Now I see you're going to be working hard on something. You're going to be dedicated. You're going to have love and passion. And if you don't, it's not worth of your time and energy. You need to be passionate. You need to love what you're doing. Or who you are with. Also, maybe karmically something going on in your life. But I see, in most cases, success from what you love doing. Hey, don't try even to... Um, don't even try to be like anybody else. No. You are who you are. And you are gorgeous who you are. You are unique. You are successful, successful if you are your true, authentic self. So don't even try to look at anybody else, compare yourself to anybody else, because your power is in your authenticity, period, end of discussion, okay? You're great the way you are. Easy does it, Archangel Raphael says. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me detach, retreat, and let go so that healing can occur. Some of you not feeling well because you are in a toxic relationship, situation, thoughts, feelings, and need to you need to detach and retreat and be yourself, okay? Easy does it, I always think about AA meetings. That's the gig, okay? Easy does it. Um, and it's easier than you think to cut off what's unhealthy in your life and finally be truly healthy and happy. That's the message I get from it. 
And what says Archangel Michael for you? Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose. And I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide me, guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. So some of you may be looking for your life purpose. Some of you may be looking for your best business, best career, best job, what you're supposed to do in this uh, uh, life. Maybe you're looking for what's going to be very important in 2019, meaning um, who you truly are. What's your God's given uh, gifts and talents? So that's going to be very important to do for you what you meant to do. What is your soul calling? You're going to pay attention, but remember, the real power is in being you. doesn't matter how weird it looks and sounds, you is you. So don't pretend. Don't try to play nice because some people will not accept you. Easy does it. Just release them. Simple as that. Okay, my dear Scorpio, have a wonderful 2019. And we're going now to Sagittarius. My dear Sagittarius, what's for my Sagittarius subscribers? If you don't know what I'm talking about because you're starting from this, please go to the beginning of part one when I'm explaining what that means. New game. Okay, so we're starting... For you, my dear Sag. Okay. It's wonderful to be alone, even better to be in a business, career, doing something interesting, maybe project. When is two. So you may be getting or looking for a partner. Okay. In something creative. Uh, maybe something is a hard work hard project and you need help and that's okay because um, it's going to be very successful and you will get the progress you're looking for and success in something if you pair up with somebody. Now, romance, your romantic life, if you married, The angel showing some codependency, some addictions that may um, really affecting your romantic life, but your life, period. So either you with an addict or you addicted to something or someone, someone, sometimes uh, the deepest uh, codependency can be on someone, not on something. So. For all of you, either you or your partner or your environment really um, needs some adjustment here. What is healthy and what is toxic? Look really deeply. You may also meet someone. You're looking for someone, you're meeting someone, and now is codependency issue. Whatever decision you're making in 2019, let this come from your heart. This is chariot, but it's also number seven. So it must be right here. Coming from your heart, from your deep desires, from you truly authentically are. And chariot always needs balance because if one of the horses go too much to the left or too right, it ends up in a ditch. It's not going anywhere. So the harmony, balance, inner peace is very important for you in 2019. To lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. So for some of you, write a list. Look at it all the time. Repeat until you get it. Like I always say, smile in the mirror until 
you smile always. So being more positive will bring you positive results. Kami says, right? The law of attraction, the deep, big secret that is not a secret anymore. Again, stay positive, Archangel Raphael. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me be optimistic and take the appropriate action steps that support my health. So you see, if you're noticing some aches, pain, something is wrong, something hurts, you need to be more positive. You need to cut the toxicity out of your life. Also, negativity and it will help you okay more sense of humor too are you too serious my dear Satch? <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe that's the message from archangel michael dear god and archangel michael thank you for watching me watching over me and my loved ones please help me feel secure at an end at peace and fill me with faith so that i may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful happy life my priorities maybe that's exactly what you need again the list what is important to you what is that you desire where is your heart what's your passion so you need to be more clear what's in your heart and i wish you all the best my dear Sag, and now we're going to Capricorn. What's for the Capricorns in 2019? Capricorn subscribers, if you don't know what that means, please go to the part one and listen to the beginning. Okay, my dear Capricorn, what's the message for you? So it starts with the competition the opposing goals one wants this the other wants something else i want to go here somebody else has a totally different idea i want to be happy somebody doesn't want me to be happy i want to do project this way somebody else somewhere else. it's competition i would also say uh, some jealousy uh, some people is too ambitious, overly ambitious. Some people is not ambitious enough. And the opposing goals, okay? We're not going together. We have different opinions. Everybody wants more to fight than really to get along. Boy. But from all the fives is change and transformation. Through the conflict is also change. So you may make changes if you see that this just is ridiculous when it comes to the couples disconnect from this world okay disconnect retreat which means okay if you are single you may go somewhere and meet someone when you stop being on a computer and on the phone all the time and text message just simply be and you're meeting someone Maybe some of you are just happy that you are alone and you're not even looking for anybody. But from time to time, it's good to retreat. And first, if you are in a relationship, in a marriage, it's time just to disconnect, okay? Business, you know, can be uh, given to someone else to take care for time being, but no computer, no emails, no text messages, no phone calls, zero. Call to argument. And you will find out how your relationship is really working or not working. Because I'm not saying that it's going to be all beautiful. You may have a tough time hearing what's wrong. And again, maybe opposing goals. Can you live with that? Or oh, it's time to make changes. Take the lead. And I cannot imagine if some of you wouldn't be like a Capricorn, not being ambitious. Are you kidding me? I'm looking even like, what's going on here? Uh, yes, take the lead. Number three. The universal year number three is 2019. 
is blue is the color of the year but also the fifth the fifth throat chakra and you see this was five so it's time maybe to say something it's time to do something it's time to show people that you the leader not the sheep somebody needed to hear this and some of you a new way of eating gives you more energy greater health char uh, clarity or charity interesting and stronger manifestation abilities vegetarian so in or order to be healthier happier maybe you should look what you're eating what you're drinking are you eating properly or are you skipping something or okay i'm gonna grab something i have no time no no no. pay attention because it's very important in 2019. uh oh dear archangel raphael thank you for helping me to help children you see i mentioned charity suddenly came to me so maybe you need to take care of children more or your own family in 2019 pay attention to them yes and north north is in cancer so i don't blame this message it's time to take care more of your home your family um your children may be very important but also helping other children so not your children as well maybe that's a new charity for you and archangel michael says the person you are asking about oh okay first ask if that person who you were concerned about is trustworthy or not yes it's trustworthy thank you for helping me have faith so i can open my heart wider in my relationships i'm grateful for your protection ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life so this will be important who is trustworthy who is worth of your time energy and maybe money who knows because of this first one you're gonna be weeding out you're gonna see who is worth to be around and who needs to go wow. okay okay all the best my dear capricorns and my dear aquarius i hope i didn't miss anybody my dear aquarius aquarius subscribers and if you don't know what i'm talking about please go to the part one to find out <clears throat> right away <coughs> I feel here watch out watch out your lungs the way you breathing what you eating what you breathing a positive or negative energy my dear Aquarius because that's the first sign okay so let's see let's see let's see let's see okay you starting with is a full moon and you cannot sleep and you absolutely thinking about what worse can happen to you the worst case scenarios some of you may have insomnia some of you because of this new energy may simply be awakened and you deeply you even sleep differently which then is okay nobody said it's gotta be everything is changing the whole energy is changing and you may feel it but the worst thing you can do is be negative and expect the worst because guess what that's exactly what you're gonna be attracting so forget it uh, right from the get-go because this i see is something and maybe because of the eclipses in 2019 but then i see also again the choice are you thinking about positive or negative are you thinking about uh, health or illness are you expecting the best or the worst because his darkest fears um they're not and it's two nines so some it, for some of you something ends something is finding completion in 2019 okay but do not come from the negative or and toxic mm -hmm. now some of you mm, needing someone and having a great romance some of you really desire 
Some of you desire romance, and that's wonderful, but you're exploring, you're trying to find someone. Now, if you're already in a relationship or in a marriage, also you're desiring romantic feelings and that warmth and that love and that passion. Nothing wrong with that, okay? But some of you I hear worries that never will find anybody who is worth of your uh, feelings and love. If that's the case, that's what you're going to get. So don't even, don't even go there, okay? Expect the best and leave the rest behind the door. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. How about that, my dear Aquarius? So you may be a teacher, you may be a healer, you may be start doing something, learning about it, or opening your own practice. Some of you are simply teachers, uh, or even parents that have the healing abilities. Good advice, beautiful hug, smile, nice words, something about you that is healing. Okay, one way or another, even by telling the truth, the telling the way it is. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, guide me to the best healthcare professionals for this situation. Second opinion is um, the title, which means that if you have any problems and you've been going to the doctor, have a second opinion, have another checkup, okay, another test, or simply look for something holistic try to look at your own life are you happy because this if you're not sleeping or you have dark 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 uh, thoughts and feelings you may be depressed or you may have had really horrible experiences so try to see where is the problem in your life because you may be the best healer for yourself or find a healer. And what Archangel Michael has a message for you. Romance angels are helping you. Dear guardian angels of my soulmate, Thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love, for giving us the motivation to make helpful life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping uh, us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. So as you can see, uh, the romance angels are all over him and helping him to find his or her soulmate. So that's a beautiful thing. So you have romantic feelings. You really want somebody. You really want that love, that passion, feeling safe and secure. And probably that's what your darkest fears are that you may not find it. But you already see that it's happening. The angels heard you. You have the army of romance angels that are trying to find you the right partner. So expect the best and leave the rest behind the door. I wish you a wonderful year, my dear Aquarius. And now we're going, wow, okay, towards Pisces, my dear Pisces. Subscribers, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to listen to the part one. Now, in the meantime, Archangel Michael card went down of the desk. So now we got to be respectful towards our angels. So, okay, we're going to Pisces. Pisces subscribers, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to look at the beginning of part one. Okay. Okay. Wow, my dear Pisces, beautiful. Okay, we're starting with the happy changes in your career, work, business, something new, 
something exciting. Even if you've been doing this business for a long time, now you either branching out, you having new projects, more work, you're doing something differently or you're changing your career completely. But whatever it is, it's very successful. It's new. It's exciting. Happy changes on the horizon. Yay, I say. Wonderful. When it comes to love romance, let your friends help you. So if you're looking for someone, and you determine to be loved and loved by someone special, say it. Blue is the color for number three, and blue is the color for 2019. That's a throat chakra. Say it. Don't hide. Be honest. I'm looking for a lover for a husband, for great love, whatever it is, and accept, and accept uh, support from others. So may, somebody may come say, you know something? I know that guy or that girl, it's perfect for you. So don't say, never mind. I don't want anybody because it's not true. So, um, this is not a really truly blind date because your friends know you, they know who you are, they even explain what you're looking for in a man or a woman. And looks like they may deliver you exactly what is prescribed for you. You want to succeed? You will. Number six, believe and succeed right in the middle of the reading. So you're coming from those wars that they were uh, rough. Maybe some problems, maybe some health issues, maybe some money issues. And boy, you going where is peace, tranquility, love and happiness. Also, most importantly, inner peace. If you had any debts, any money issue, financial issues, maybe you have a credit card debt, you're going to be able to pay off, which is wonderful. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. No more financial problems. Yay! <laughs> it's so good, I'm telling you. What a beautiful reading. If you or somebody you know is ill or something happens an accident uh, you find out expect a miracle and it says dear god and archangel raphael thank you for your miracles intervention and healing energy which has restored the health of someone but also i feel that many of you is like me a healer and we can do miracles just by being, by healing, one on one especially. So this is very important for us here, okay? I'm saying us because I'm Pisces as well. <laughs> Take your time making this decision, Archangel Michael. That's his advice at the end. And it says, Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. So maybe in general, Pisces will be in a situation that is not healthy, that is toxic, either relationships, business, any kind of situation. And maybe some of the Pisces will try to pressure for something or someone, or try to control something or someone. It's got to be my way. And I won this for the day before yesterday. Uh, uh, uh. Be ambitious. Go for what you want. Be passionate. But let go and let God after that. Let it happen. 
in the right way. The angels know what's good for uh, us Pisces, okay? They know what's good for everybody. So controlling may give you what you ask for, but that's not necessarily what is really good for you. Okay, wish you a wonderful 2019, my dear Pisces. Kisses, mm, hugs. And until we meet again.